Hello wonderful little beans, my name is Bee and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell and of course use that could be when buying Robux or Premium. Now I just wanted to say to you guys, I know that the last few days have been so crazy with all of the update stuff and all of the content we've been making. I'm sure many of you guys are probably super pooped having had to watch so much content that has been coming out and managing to get through all of the different videos. I'm excited to say to you guys that from now on we are back to our normal schedule uploading no more than two videos a day unless obviously there's something really important that I need to get you guys obviously in the know about whether that's to your news or an update or something but we are going to be back on our normal schedule track now so hopefully that will be a little bit less stressful for you guys to maintain and follow along with everything that's going on we're now just sort of in like hermit mode where we're just sort of gonna curl up and play the Halloween update and just wait around until something new happens because as you guys know it'll be a while now obviously we have a royal Wing con to look forward to so We'll look forward to that but for the time being there's not really much going on however there was one thing i wanted to talk about today and that is a new update that came out for royal high alongside this halloween update but it was not listed inside of the update log so a lot of people didn't know about this i only knew because i saw a video by call me Haley and also saw that the developer in question bianchi had tweeted about it so today you guys we're going to talk a little bit about those changes and what it means for the future of Royal High. So that all means Beyonce, as you will probably already know, is very well known for being the sparkle editor and the lighting fixer in Royal High. He is very talented and tends to fix lighting related things or create lighting related things within the game. Now, he recently got to work on making a fix for some of the issues inside of Davinia Park and the entire lighting system has been changed. So let's head on over to Davinia Park now and have a look and then you guys can see what is different. It's been a while since we've headed here not since the Halloween update came out. Now, as you guys will already know, not many people have been coming to Davinia Park recently, mainly because the fountain is inside of Diamond Beach, but it's also, in addition, in the new Wickery Cliffs update, so you don't really need to come here. Now, I just want to say, you guys, I do have my graphics on full, which is why it looks super, super pretty, but as you can see, the lighting has been totally changed and fixed in Davinia Park. As you guys may remember, the lighting in Davinia Park was really dark after the Halloween Lunar New Year update. There was a lot of weird glitches with it, and in general, it just wasn't really matching well across the realm like when you went into the easter game it changed lighting which was intended but there was just various different things about Davinia Park that weren't quite working but Vianchi has gone into the update and into the realm and as you can see he has now fixed all of the lighting issues so you guys can now explore Davinia Park back in the daytime again back to how it was supposed to be originally the lovely lighting we had before for Lunar New Year Valentine's etc was beautiful but it is nice to see that our lovely springy summer realm has gone back to how it was before it does look a little bit weird to come here during springtime though and summertime considering it's been so long since we were last here and especially since it is now Halloween and are these balloons new by the way I don't know if I recognize them so let me know in the comments but it is exciting to see that they've still added it in to fix the lighting and various things like that obviously like I said you guys the video park is not around you're going to be coming to quite a lot right now especially considering most of us are spending our time inside of Wickery Cliffs doing candy grinding but it's nice to come back here and appreciate it sometimes now there is a small issue in Davinia Park though that has been introduced since the new update and has not yet been fixed. A lot of people have noticed that the chat system is broken. You can't chat in Davinia Park. No matter how much you try, the messages just do not send. So unfortunately, it does look as though that during the fix of this lighting and the removal of the Easter update, we've actually had broken chat system introduced. So now nobody, even in private servers, even in public servers, can actually communicate inside of Davinia Park unless they're in a voice chat. Unfortunately, it has broken. I'm not really sure if they're going to fix it or if the devs even know yet. Hopefully they notice and fix it soon. But you guys, Davinia Park is very beautiful and this new update to its lighting and all of that good stuff is absolutely gorgeous. I'm still looking forward to the future of Davinia Park and what the devs may choose to do again later. For the time being though, you guys, the lighting is all fixed. You can go and enjoy it now and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Have a great day, little beans. Goodbye.